गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक इट्स अकाउंटिंग फॉर लेबर कॉस्ट सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इन कॉस्टिंग वन वन यूनिट आई एम कंप्लीटिंग सो यूनिट कॉस्टिंग यूनिट एंड आउटपुट कॉस्टिंग मोस्टली वी हैव कवर्ड वन टू प्रॉब्लम्स आई एक्सप्लेन टू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स आई एक्सप्लेन फ्रॉम अदर बुक सो लेबर्स वी आर डूइंग नाउ ओके कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वी हैव डन सो वन टू एंड दिस वी आर स्टार्टिंग देन वील गो फॉर मेटीरियल्स After materials will come for overheads, job costing, and process costing. Let us first complete one one unit from uh, you know one one chapter from each unit. Then we'll go for other chapters. Okay. So our focus should be on next chapter is labor. Labor, sorry. After labor, we'll do materials. Okay. Then we'll go for other chapters. So what is labor? Okay. What is the meaning of labor? Why we are uh, studying in cost accounting? Cost accounting. Why we are studying about labor? Yes. Now let us understand everything in detail. Then we'll solve problems, and problems are very easy in this chapter. Only simply what we have, we have problems. Okay. So sorry, we have formulas to calculate labor cost. Okay. Now see what he says first. Meaning of labor. To whom we call as labor. Labor is an essential factor of production. Yes. In a factory, to produce a product, what is required? Material is required. Yes. machine is required yes and what is required labor is required so labor is an essential factor its labor is important for production yes we have seen right we see in daily life uh, uh, you know factories where people work the people who work in factory in conversion of raw material into finished goods i repeat labor is a person is a worker we can say worker what he does he works he he gives his services to convert raw material into finished good so we are saying labor is a worker is a person is a worker who is who is giving his services to convert raw material into finished goods that person is called as what labor okay chali next what is says next what we are seeing it is a human resource and participates in the process of production yes labor is a human resource human resource means people yes so we can see human being right a human being who is participating in the process of production so next what is says labor cost is a significant element of cost of product or service yes so we have to understand what is the amount that is to be paid amount that is to be paid amount paid to worker okay the amount he is giving his service he is working hard for that the amount is being paid the amount is being paid to the worker that is called as what labor cost that is called as labor cost okay so we are saying that is called labor cost okay next up for costing purpose it labor may be classified into two direct two broad categories direct labor and indirect labor so we have two types of labor one is direct another is another is what indirect so direct labor is we'll understand who is a direct labor and we'll understand who is indirect labor okay so what we have studied till now what we have seen labor is a worker who is giving his services is putting hard efforts to convert the raw material into finished goods and the amount will be paid to the worker for his services and his hard efforts that part that is called as labor cost okay again labor is a human being okay who participates in uh, production of goods and services and we have two types of labor one is direct other is what indirect labor so direct labor means what direct labor is that labor which can be readily identified with a specific job contract or work order what is the meaning of job particular work will be give, given to that person contract means some people will work on the contract basis and some people will work on the work basis okay we'll un understand all these things it includes all labor directly engaged in converting raw materials into finished goods or alternating al altering the construction composition or condition of the product so what he says the people who are working and though those people efforts are directly engaged directly engaged in converting raw material those people are called as what direct labor so the people who are working in construction see we we see laborers working in the construction to construct a building we need need labor 
right that person we are talking about and to convert any raw material into finished good the human beings working in factory that person we are talking about composition or condition of the product so condition means what some you know changes they are doing to the product so that is called what conditioning so that is called labor that is called direct labor any other form of labor which occur which is incurred wholly or specifically for a particular job contract or work order any person who is doing a specifically work means particular work he is doing take example a labor is working in a in a construction field we have seen many labor side right? uh, construction of road you can take we see right construction of road there we see a person is working to construct that road that person is called as labor okay and we see in factories right we see in bakeries also the people who are taking the raw material that is that is flour and all they are taking and they making bakery items that person is called as labor okay so that is called direct labor next features the main features of direct labor are it can be easily identified with a specific job contract or work order yes ob uh, obviously next it varies directly with the volume of output <coughs> it varies direct uh, directly with the volume of output means what yes as the output increases uh, we want to increase the output we have to increase the labor right if you want to increase the output we have to increase the labor that is saying <coughs> next examples what are the examples some examples of direct labor are weavers in weaving unit so we know right that they weave cloth in that we see carpenter in furniture unit so to make fur carpent furniture you know tables chairs dressing tables dining tables beds who is required carpenter is required tailor in ready made wear suits so we go to shopping malls and we see all suits and all right there who is making that tailor he is called called as labor baker in baking unit in bakery all the ready items we eat right that is called that baker is called what uh, that person who is doing is called what labor Hawai halwai in confectionery unit halwai we know right the person who makes sweets dry cleaning the washer labor employed in construction contract so these all people are called as what direct labor these all people will called as what direct labor okay chali we understood who is a direct labor and what all examples we have seen right so who that person is called as these all examples we have for the direct labor next treatment wages paid to direct labor are termed as direct labor cost and forms part of prime cost so the money which is being paid to the people all these people will be called as what direct labor cost i repeat the money which is being paid to all these people examples we have seen that will be called as what direct labor cost and it will come into part prime cost we have seen right in uh, materials uh, that uh, you know cost sheet first we write direct uh, materials material consumed in that what we write materials we write and direct labor we write direct labor and material we add then will come as what prime cost that we have seen right chali that is called direct uh, what labor so prime cost so let me explain uh, prime cost once i think you people have forgot it so we will write materials right then we write labor then we write direct expenses right we have seen this this all will be called as what prime cost we have seen right material labor and direct expenses so he is saying prime cost is a consisting of labor also that point he is saying okay right Let's see wages part paid to direct labor are termed as direct labor cost and form part of prime cost yes chal so we have seen who is a labor meaning of labor we have seen meaning we have seen features also we have seen and we have seen examples of uh, labor okay if you want you can copy in your notes it's not required If once you understand that's it in this chapter we have to do problems you understand once okay so meaning if you want you can copy definition me you know sorry meaning the features and uh, examples treatment next we'll see indirect labor so who is indirect labor meaning indirect labor is that labor who cannot be directly identified with a specific job contract or work order it includes all it means what that person will not be directly he is not working he is not the person who is directly working for the product yes so it includes all labor not directly engaged in converting raw material into finished goods or altering in the construction composition of condition of the product so this person is not 
really working hard uh to convert the goods into uh, finished goods okay he is not con- he is not working he is not a labor he is a different person who is a different person will see uh then what is this the main features of indirect labor are it cannot be easily identified with a specific job obviously it may or may not vary directly with the volume of output okay he is not working he is not working to convert the goods into finished raw material into finished goods the raw material also output also will not you know changes next examples will see will understand labor employed in personal department personal department means what the persons where they are uh, personal department means uh, i think it's uh, related to the employees okay so labor who are employed in personal department next labor engaged in engineering work study department so these are the people who are working there okay labor engaged in time keeping department time keeping means what uh, you know uh, security guards we can say okay drivers we can say example i'm giving example okay and uh, <clears throat> take example our college in our college the people who are working see the uh, that uh, watchmen they are not direct laborers okay next uh, who we have imrs okay what they are doing they are giving just services yes they are not called as laborers direct laborers we cannot say right we can say imrs as laborers yes they are working right they are working they are doing some work and uh, faculties teachers and all we can say laborers all faculties because they are coming and they are giving the service okay so not only production of goods is a labor but giving service is also labor giving service is also labor okay chal so next we see labor employed in cost accounting department these are the people see repairs and maintenance stores department power house department security department machine shop these all the all the people who are helping the laborers to do work means these people should be there to help the main labor to con- complete their job so these all examples are indirect labor so indirect labor is a different concept so it's very easy so indirect in means what is just remember one thing indirect labor means he is not a person who is putting his hard hard efforts to convert the raw material into finished goods that person is called as what indirect labor this much you remember that's it okay now see next what do we have what we have so next we have what treatment wages paid to indirect labor are termed as indirect cost and it does not become parts of or it becomes part of forets so the amount which is paid the amount which is paid to the laborers the amount which is paid to the indirect laborers is called as what it becomes a part of forets forets means expenses okay so we have seen what is direct labor what is indirect labor indirect labor is a person who is not giving his services or not putting his efforts to convert the raw material into finished goods he is assisting person this this labor is he is assisting the direct labor okay we can say so this we have seen so we are talking about uh, money amount paid to worker this is important they are giving work they are doing work they are putting efforts how to pay these people okay how to pay so that we are studying in this chapter called labor cost how to pay these people okay chaliye so let us come here this is important methods of wage payments methods of wage payments how to pay how to pay to the workers laborers who are working to convert the raw material into finished goods or giving services to those people how to pay the money that we are talking about so method methods of wage payment we have two principal methods of wage payment first is time rate wage system piece piece rate wage system so first is according to time we'll pay next according to piece rate wage system okay so how to pay this person time rate wage system piece rate wage system so time rate what is the meaning of time how the money is being paid to the people okay let us take example i said right faculties are also labor we are coming and we are giving service we are explaining you we are giving you information knowledge so we people are paid on based on time basis see our timings are fixed right by the management what are our timings we'll come in the morning 8:15 8:20 and we'll go at 8:30 or 3 o'clock so we'll be paid based on time we'll be paid based on time they will not see how many classes we are taking okay they'll see simply what when the faculty is coming when he is going out okay what what is his login time what is his log out time time that much they will see okay so this is called what time rate wage system okay to to we people they are paying so see what he explaining 
a worker a worker is paid a fixed rate per hour or per day or per month for the time devoted by him obviously so we people are being paid by the management per month it is called what time rate wage system so the management which the management is paying we people based on time in a month how many days we are coming okay based on that the salary will be calculated next the time rate may be fixed with a reference to a rate prevailing in the industry for a similar work obviously if i am working in progress college how much i am getting if i if the same person is working some more faculty is working in other college how much he is getting okay based on that the management will fix the management how the management will fix their work uh, salaries they will see in other colleges take take example i am taking costing subject costing and advanced accounting i take the final year i take costing second year i take advanced accounting a person in another another college how much is getting for taking costing classes and advanced accounting classes based on that our management will fix my salary that is saying here the time rate may be fixed with a reference to rate prevailing in the industry for similar work but it must be noted that this rate must not be less than the minimum wage fixed under the minimum wages act or any other act for the time being in force see what is happening why this minimum wages act we are talking about or any other act we are saying see what is happening in the market actually the management the people who are working hard they are not getting minimum pay okay what we have seen in many movies right they fight for their you know for salary wages in high you know increase in you know what we can say in wages so they will work very hard and they will be get paid very less so they the government will make some acts okay the acts are saying that person will the labor should get minimum wages that he is saying next that should be fixed next output produced by the worker is not relevant for calculating wages obviously if he if he is coming in the morning at 8 o'clock if he is going home at 3 o'clock they will not see how many classes the faculty is being taken they will simply see what time he has come what time he has gone going to the home that's it that's called what output will not be seen same in a factory if a worker is working in the coming in the coming to the factory in the morning and going out in the evening they will not see how many units he has produced okay that's it next computation of wages how to compute wages wages equal to actual time devoted into time rate what is saying how to compute wages wages equal to actual time devoted into time rate so time will be there okay how many hours is working per hour how much is been given let us see we have example here example mr x come on have patience 